I know Why'd you, don't like you bring me him here me. in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Wow. You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. Uh-oh. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Wow. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Oh. Doug, it works. Of course it works. I told you. Yeah. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. If they're friendly, we don't want to hurt them. They're not part of your group, are they? No. Mr. Parker, Travis, and I were the last... The last ones. Yeah. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough! Oh, shit! Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. The dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Huh. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. Some kind How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Well, we could use food, that's for Lee, damn sure. Why don't you and Mark check the place I out, mean, see if it's legit? I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. Yeah. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Alright. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Alright then. So, this dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? Right. Guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. <laughs> What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah. yeah why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Uh, I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, 
You guys know. Well, so we'd agreeable. love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Oh, yeah. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. They and you guys were keeping it all oh. for yourself. Should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Ooh, don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> oh. Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, shit. Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. I can't see how you could have Let's get that. to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Hey. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. Hello. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Yeah, we work together. We work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for yeah, having brought us. The gasoline. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Oh, thank you. Holy moly! Sorry. Jesus. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Hey, stop well, speaking for me. how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? All right. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You I can, can learn that. a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh. 
Yeah. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And yeah. checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Yeah. Investigator Lee and, and Deputy Mark. 